Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create these nice tab buttons. As you can see, we have a container with a nice back shadow. And on the left side, we have the top buttons with a nice hoir effect. On the right side, we have the top contents. By default, the first tab is active and its content is displayed. But when you click on the second tab, you can see the contents changes and displays the second tab contents. Similarly, when you click on the third tab, you can see the contents changes. And we also have a tab indicator in here. So creating these tabs are very simple. So let's start creating this. Okay, let's define the basic structure of the HTML. Title will be vertical tab buttons. Inside the body element, we will define a div with class equal to container. Inside the container class, we will define a div with class equal to tab buttons. Inside this, we will define a three div elements with one common class name btn, which will be the tab buttons. Copy this and paste it two more times. This will be jQuery and the last one will be react now save this and open the browser and you can see the top buttons appears now let's define the top contents inside the container class we will define another div with class equal to top contents inside this we will define three div elements with one common class name contents and one unique ID name. Inside each div, we will have an H2 element with a title, a paragraph, and an H3 element for indicating the tabs. Now let's copy the child div, paste it below, change the ID to content to class name will be the same contents. Change the title to jQuery and this will be the second tab contents. Now copy this, paste it below, change the ID name to content3, class name will be the same contents, change the title to react and this will be the third tab contents. So that's it for the HTML code. Now let's save this. So now we have our contents ready. Now let's style it with CSS. Define the style tags. Select all elements, margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing border box. Now target the body element display will be flex justify content center align items center mean height 100 viewport height width will be 100 percent specify the background color for the body now let's style the contents inside the body target the container class Position will be relative, width will be 60%, height 300 pixels, overflow will be hidden, border radius will be 10 pixels, and we will also specify box shadow for the container. And display will be flex. Now let's style the left side of the container which contains the top buttons. Target the class top buttons. Flex space is 25% which specifies the width. Padding will be 10 pixels. 
background color border right 1 pixel solid and color of the border okay the left side of the container is not taking 25 percent weight of the container it is because we have not specified weight for the right side of the container which is the top contents class so let's style the top contents class copy the class top contents inside the class container target the top contents flex spaces 75 percent background image linear gradient to write specify the first color of the gradient and the second color padding will be 20 pixels to the top 30 pixels to the right 20 pixels to the bottom and 40 pixels to the left font size will be 20 pixels and it is looking nice now we will style the title and the top indicators inside the class top contents target the h2 element padding bottom 10 pixels now target the h3 element position will be absolute right 20 pixels bottom 20 pixels and also specify the color of the text okay now we need to hide the contents to do so we will set the display property of the contents class to none so let's go back to the code editor now copy the class contents inside the top contents class target the contents display will be none save this and you can see that all the contents are hidden so now we want the contents of the first top button javascript to be visible by default so let's go back to the code editor so in the first dev element inside the top contents class we add a class name called show now target the show class display will be black and you can see that the javascript contents are visible now so next we will style the top buttons so copy the class button inside the top buttons class target button text align center padding 20 pixels margin bottom 10 pixels border radius 10 pixels to the top left and bottom right 30 pixels to the top right and bottom left text transform uppercase font size will be 20 pixels cursor pointer now let's add hover effect to the button on hover we will change the background color of the buttons and we have these top buttons with a nice hover effect so now we want the first top button to be active by default so let's go back to the code editor in the first dev element inside the button class we will add a class called show and we will target the show class and we will change the color of it and you see that by default the first top button javascript is active and its content is displayed now we need to write javascript code so that whenever we click on any of the top button the content should switch and it should display the contents of the tab on which we click 
So let's go back to the code editor. So in the first tab button, we will add a click event which will call a function called show contents. Inside this, we will pass two arguments this which represents the same element and the id name of the first dev element called content1. Now copy this and paste it in the second tab button and in here we will pass the id name of the second dev element called content2. Now similarly paste it in the third tab button and in here we will pass the id name of the third dev element called content3. Now scroll down and we will define the script tags function. Let's copy the function name show contents. We will provide definition for the function and we will pass two parameters active tab and contents id. Active tab will store the value of this and the id names will be stored in the contents id. Now let's define a variable tabs which will store all the tab buttons. Copy the class name btn. Paste it. And we will define another variable contents which will store all the tab contents. Copy the class name contents. Paste it. i equal to 0. We will define a while loop which will loop through all the tab buttons and all the tab contents. In this line, we will remove the show class from the top buttons. And in the second line, we will remove the show class from the top contents. In here, we will add a show class to the active tab button on which we click. And in the second line, we will get the active top contents using its id and we will add a show class to the active contents related to the tab on which we click. Now let's save this. Okay, we have some problem in the code. Let's check it. Okay, since we are accessing the class name, we need to add a parent symbol before the class name. In here also add the parent symbol. Now let's save this. And now whenever we click on any of the top button, the contents are switching and it displays the contents of the top on which we click. So that's it for this tutorial. And I hope this class will be helpful for you and you learned something new from it.